Hello, it's Friday and yes, it's flowers for the weekend. Today I'm using a, a lovely plate, which was a, a charity shop find. And to that, I'm going to add um, a rather large pin holder with some Oasis Fix to secure it into the center, dust it off from the shelf and pushed firmly so that it's not moving anywhere. And then I'm going to start with a little bit of catkin or hazel into my design so that it gives me some height and that's certainly not going anywhere. To that I've got some uh, small fatsia leaves which I picked from the garden and of course it is a slight struggle at the moment to find some foliage in the garden but there's always something there that uh, you can use to complement the tulips that I'm going to pop into the design. And uh, this, of course, gives us some nice uh, textural shape and um, we can begin with our design. Better add in some water and make sure that the pin holder is covered and that the water doesn't uh, disappear or get used by the foliage and plants that you're using. And now a couple of these white tulips and, of course, White and green is such a wonderful combination. Clear, crisp time uh, and look for this time of year. So adding in the tulips into the pin holders and uh, I've managed to pick a little bit of Hebe. Again, to contrast those uh, fatsia leaves that we've put in and um, we can begin to build the design. It's always good to mark your week by doing something special. For us here at Beacon Hill, we treat ourselves on Saturdays and Sundays to a cooked breakfast. And therefore it kind of makes the days a little bit different. And of course, Friday is flower day. And um, putting in those tulips and also a little bit of the berry from the fatsia Again, adding in another little bit of texture, and that's the key for making any design, is to get in as many textures as you possibly can within your work. We're filling up the, the uh, pin holder nicely. Do I want another leaf? Maybe, let's go for it. Popping that leaf in and making sure that we're keeping things nice and balanced. And uh, I think one more tulip into there. And then I've got some reindeer moss, a little bit of moss just to cover up our pin holder, our mechanics as we say in the trade. Just pushing that around. I'm going to add this last tulip. It's looking a bit uh, lost on its own. And um, a little bit more Hebe and then a little bit more moss into our container and the key with this design is to not completely fill the container with flowers we want to see that nice bit of antique glassware around and a um, little bit more moss we don't want to see the pin holder but we're just covering it with some moss and um, making it sort of as though it's growing in the garden, just like that. And as a last finishing touch, I've got these rather smooth pebbles that I think would give a nice little detail, a little full stop to our design. Not many, just a couple, maybe three, why not? Let's do it. And um, I've got a little, little snippets of the, um, uh, fatsia, that uh, these little baubles of gorgeousness, just adding a little bit of detail to the bottom of the design. And I think I'm going to leave it. Less is more, as they say. But uh, thank you for joining me for Flowers on Friday. <laughs>